Based off the fact that this bunch is so far out and it spreads the defense so wide, you're going to see here how we have five guys and we're getting double teams everywhere. Double teams, especially up the middle, to create a really wide gap that anybody can run through. And this is not a route that should beat this defense, but you'll see how the play fake causes everybody to crash inside. And this tight end gets outside every single time for unlimited catch and run space. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys some unstoppable plays, and that's because these plays both beat man and zone, making them the hardest concept to stop in college football 25. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I just just dropped my Alabama offensive ebook, and I already have Georgia's offensive ebook out. So, if you guys need more help, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. I also, do want to show that this entire video is being recorded on Heisman, as this is the toughest defense to play against. And typically, when you play against Heisman, the defense type starts to like react and figure you out over time, but it doesn't have that effect against any of these plays. And that's because if you run them properly, you can beat any single defense in the game, man or zone. Now, the first play I'm going to show you guys is going to be out of that Alabama offensive ebook, and it's from the formation called the slot right week over. The play itself is going to be called the RPO rewise slide, and this is a play that can beat any man or zone defense. So let's go and let's pick that. For this play, you can hand it off to the running back, but we're going to watch the defender in front of the B receiver, or more likely the three defenders in front of the three wide receivers to see if they drop down. If they don't drop down like here, I can throw it out to that B receiver pretty much every single time. But the real read is going to be the X tight end is this tight end here doesn't really get picked up a lot and you can see how you can throw that to the other side for a very easy catch and run and you're going to see how you can make this read all the way down the field simply just throwing to the bubble screen if it's a zone coverage or the tight end if it's a man coverage now since this formation has all its receivers on one side of the field it's going to make it a very easy read when it comes to a play like this as you can see right here nobody covered this tight end once he comes across but you can see how the tight end naturally beats man coverage while the b receiver on a wheel route naturally beats zone coverage as we have another zone coverage here and we have another big play the only thing that can go wrong with this play is if the offensive linemen get a little bit too far downfield like we did on that play, but that could be the result of running this play multiple times. As you'll see here once again, we have our defenders not dropping down on the wheel route, and we're going to get a very easy play once again. Here's that look once again where it's an obvious man coverage, so that means that I can tell right away that the tight end is going to be wide open on this side. As you can see here, we're going to get a very easy one play score, although we did get down to the one yard line. And you can see how the best defense in the game has no solution for this play. Next up, we're going to stick in Alabama's playbook and we're going to go to a somewhat rare formation out of the bunch open offset. This particular formation has a lot of really good pass plays, but one of the hardest plays to stop in the entire game is going to be the RPO read bubble. And that's because once again, we have our man beating route on the left side and our zone beating route on the right side. For this play, all you really have to do is look for space on the left side. If you can see the cornerback is back this far to allow the route open underneath, you can make a pre-snap judgment to the point where you can just throw it out pretty much every single time. But on the right side, you're really just going to watch to see if it's a zone coverage once again by watching the defender in front of the RB route. And you can see here how we can get that ball out if that defender doesn't drop down. If that defender does drop down on the bubble, then you know that it's a man coverage and you have to throw it to the X receiver. It's really that simple. As you can see here once again, that route gets open underneath any zone coverage as we get another easy first down. And I would also say, based off your pre-snap read, you might want to flip the play in the huddle to the point where this uh, speed out routes to the open side of the field. Because once again, this looks like a man coverage based on the fact that we have three defenders in front of the three uh, bunch receivers. So I can make a pre-snap judgment and just get it out to the speed out route. You can see he's wide open as that cornerback was nowhere near to be found. One of the best things about this play too is you can custom stem this X receiver up if you want to, if the cornerback's back really far. Although that might put it in a position where he could get caught. And it also makes it to the point where you have to hold the ball longer when it comes to the running back, which can leave you open for penalties. So it's not something that you're always going to want to do, but it's something that you can always do. Now on this play, you can make a pre-snap read once again. We only have two cornerbacks on the receiver side, so I know pretty distinctively that it's going to be a zone coverage, and it looks like we're going to have a shot of punching it in. The only natural defense against this play, at least when it comes to the speed out around the left side, is the cornerback's placement right here. So on a play like this, it looks like a man coverage, and it looks like he's shading too much to the outside for the X route to get open. It also looks like the bubble screen is going to get covered because we have three cornerbacks in man alignment on that side. So on this look, since we have a spread defensive alignment, we can always just run the ball. So just be aware of that. But like I said, there is no natural defense for this since you can always just run it in on the ground anyway. 
Next up, I'm going to show some plays out of my Georgia offensive ebook, starting with a play that I already showed in a gameplay out of the halfback swing from the gun deuce close. This play here is once again, man on the left side, zone on the right side. For this play here, you really just have to make sure that your running back is going to the wide side of the field or whatever side you plan on throwing at. Basically, this play here, if I want to throw to the X receiver, I just have to make sure that he has space pre-snap, as he will be just about every man or zone, but it's easier just to say that that's the man side. The left side is the man side, including the wide tight end, which will come back again against man defense as well and then the running back is really going to be best against zone although you can throw it against man it's just going to be better against zone because the defenders won't drop down to cover because basically since my tight end and my b receiver are going to be blocking that means that their man defenders are going to follow them and then the third man defender will just be open to uh, basically hit the running back so i just have to watch to see if anybody comes down on the play and if they don't you can see right there i can just throw it to the running back underneath for a very easy catch and run this is another play that has that speed out route as well. So if the cornerback is back like he is here, I know I can make a pre-snap read and throw it out underneath for another easy catch and run. And this play isn't always explosive, but you can see how you always have an opportunity if you just follow your blocking. Right here, we can see once again, we just get upfield, get 10 plus, as I will ultimately be thrown to the back nine times out of 10. Now this looks like a man coverage, like I said, you wanna make sure with your pre-snap read, if it's man or zone, if it's whoever you read, if you read man, you wanna make sure that the, the speed out route's on the open side of the field. If you read zone, you wanna make sure that the running back's on the open side of the field. It's really that simple. It's not necessary to have success on the play, but it's just gonna make it to the point where you have a bigger catch and run opportunity based off the fact that that's the side you wanna have the most space for. So this play here, I would say anytime the cornerback's within five yards of the receiver, that's a cover two look. Cover two can cover that B receiver pretty well. So we're gonna go, we're gonna flip this play, we're gonna read zone, and you can see how we can get this ball out for once again, another easy catch and run to get inside the 10. This play here looks like a man alignment though. Once again, looking at that outside cornerback. So we're gonna flip the play so we can hit that B receiver. He's within five yards, but he's also in close enough that I have faith that this guy will get outside. As you can see, we get another easy catch and run. This guy doesn't go down very easily. And we get another very easy touchdown. Next up, I got a play out of the Sam Houston playbook. And it's also in the Washington State playbook out of a formation that people probably don't know about called the Trio Unbalanced. This particular formation here has some of the best pass plays in the entire game. And I'm gonna be showing you guys this in a future video. So if you guys want to see a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game from this formation, from the verticals play, and also from the fake screen wheel, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section as I will be putting that out soon, or at least in a gameplay. I don't know if I'll put that out in a full breakdown, but it is an amazing offense. If you guys want to see more about this offense, I already have a full breakdown on my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab, as this is one of the best offenses in the entire game, in my opinion, and nobody knows about it. The play that I'm going to show you, though, the QB slot option. As this play here, you can see I've run this 22 times and I'm averaging almost 14 yards a carry on this play as it's absolutely unstoppable. And this formation's off balance look where you basically, I think you have a alignment at a tight end spot here, basically make the first read very easy. As you know, every single time, you're gonna be able to get the edge with the quarterback. The only real read you have to make pre-snap is if you wanna hand it off inside. But since I have the edge pretty much every single time based on the fact that that X tight end slash extra lineman there is gonna hold that edge and let me get outside of that defensive end, I don't really have to worry about it. So I'm gonna hold A every single time and take off with the quarterback. As you can see right here, there's nobody stopping me before I get 15 yards down the field. Now on this play here, because they're reacting more to the bunch being spread so far apart you can see i have a little more opportunity up the middle i have six blocking linemen and tight end like i said i'm not sure if the tight end or lineman or not but i have six guys with their hand in the dirt so if i have anything less than six in the tackle box i can hand it off i can make a pre-snap read and hand it off up the middle for another explosive run to get another first down now, if you haven't noticed, I've used the best defense in the game every single play that I've shown to show that there is no way to stop this as we're going against Ohio State with the Sam Houston Bearcats here, which is a team that I didn't even know existed. But if you make these reads, it's really gonna be that simple. So we'll go ahead and we'll do it again. Like I said, there's nobody up the middle here. Very easy read to take up the middle. Now I'm looking for an opportunity to work the pitch, but I'm not gonna force it as I'm gonna go with the read every single time. You can see here once again, we have double teams across the board on that play. Now here we have that edge once again, because you can see the tight end or the extra blocker is wider than the uh, the defensive end, so he's not going to be in the play. They're going to wash that guy out of the play. My first read is probably going to be the pitch defender, which in this play is the safety, which is way too far back to be effective. So I'm going to hold A once again to keep it with the quarterback, and then like I said, I'm going to keep it because I could pitch it to that to receiver who comes around, but you can see how much space I'm getting with the quarterback. And here's another opportunity. I think we're going to force that pitch this time, hold A, and then like I said, we're just going to get that pitch out because we want to show that we can pitch it to this receiver and a lot of times have a big play. 
If you don't know, here we're going to flip this play, by the way, because like I said, you always want to run us to the open side of the field. But if you don't know, you want to hit the button really lightly for a quick pitch or hold the LB L1 button for a strong pitch, which is going to be better. As you can see right here, we're just going to take with that quarterback one more time. Like I said, the quarterback is so money, there's no reason not to. And you can see they have done a better job at the goal line, but we're going to go for it. And like I said, we're going to get it every single time as there is no natural defense for this play. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see me run some of these plays in game, I'll have links popping up on screen to a gameplay that I put out using the players from the Georgia offense. And other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.